is Tracy and I'm here to talk to you about coconut oil, one of my favorite products in the entire world. Like I think if I was like stuck on a desert island, I would want coconut oil with me. I guess I could probably make it if I was on like a desert island because they would have coconut trees and I could, you know, make my own coconut oil. And I do know how to do that thanks to my mom and being half Filipino. So anyway, um, coconut oil is a fantastic product. Um, I always get the extra virgin or the virgin cold pressed a coconut oil to use. And in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about, so if you hear this clicking noise, it's because my dog is chewing on a toy. So sorry about that. But um, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about um, ways that I use coconut oil, ways that you can use coconut oil, and um, perhaps a little bit more than that. So, uh, okay, so coconut oil. It comes from coconuts, obviously, that's why it's called coconut oil. It's been around forever. Lots of different cultures use coconut oil on a regular basis, especially for um, beauty regimens. So I know like in the Philippines they use it, um, in India, and probably other, you know, Asian countries, and even other, you know, like countries where they have like a tropical environment, I'm sure that they use coconut oil on a regular basis. It obviously comes from coconuts. Um, my mom actually makes coconut oil. She like she like grinds the coconut and then like puts it in a pan and like heats it up and I'm sure that's not the way that they make this extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil but that's how my mom makes it so if I really needed to make it I would know how to make it um first way that I use coconut oil is obviously as a moisturizer so coconut oil is fantastic for moisturizing the skin it has vitamin a it has vitamin e it also has a natural SPF of like around four which is amazing like to have like a natural SPF so you could actually like go out in the sun with it and um, it also helps to fight free radicals and you know it's, it helps with anti-aging and all that stuff I love to use it like on my cuticles on my elbows on my heels on my knees I really use it as an overall like all, all over body moisturizer especially when I get out of the shower because my dog you know likes to lick me <laughs> obviously like when I pet him he wants to lick my hand and you know if I put lotion on you know even though it's like paraben free and as natural as it can be there's still like preservatives in there and stuff like that and I really don't want my four pound dog ingesting that stuff so using coconut oil especially on my hands um on my feet um it really is sort of an all natural way to moisturize and that way if my dog licks me i don't feel bad for feeding him chemicals so um love to use it on my cuticles because it really does like help moisturize those and i know in many parts of the country not necessarily miami but in many parts of the country it is very cold and cold brings dry skin i've lived in the north i have lived in places where it's been cold and my skin always 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 gets parched and really really dry because when you're inside the heater's on and that just creates like a dry air environment and then when you're outside it's super duper cold and that's gonna suck out all the moisture in your skin so if you live in one of those really, really cold climates, then coconut oil is for you. And I know it's weird to think of slathering your body with an oil, but I mean, we do it all the time. I mean, you know, body oils, massage oils, things like that. So this is just another one of those oils. And um, you can just put it onto your body, especially at night. Like if you're gonna take a shower or gonna take a bath, just put it on your body before you go to bed. You know, it really does soften the skin and moisturizes the skin. Again, helps to fight um, free radicals, helps with the uh, aging process. I forgot to show you what it actually looks like. So on the inside, it's actually a solid at room temperature. And then when you put it onto your hands, like this is what it looks like. So it's a solid. And then when you put it onto your hands and like rub it together, it actually turns into a liquid. So yes, I will just rub that into my hands so that my hands can be moisturized. So yeah. Sorry, I forgot to show you that. So, um, again, as a moisturizer, it's fantastic for that. Also, transitioning um, from, you know, your body onto your face, you can use it on your face. Like, I know you're thinking, oil, ah, it's going to clog my pores. No, but coconut oil is actually very, very good for your skin. It has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. So if you suffer from acne or acne breakouts, coconut oil is actually going to help you. It's not going to clog your pores. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to hit all of those pimples and all of those acne um, flare-ups that are coming up and it's going to infuse them with like antibacterial, antimicrobial properties and help to heal those. So I actually do know people or have read about people who have used coconut oil to treat minor acne flare-ups, um, especially when they have just like, you know, like a pimple that forms, my light is off. Hold on, sorry, I realized that my backlight was off. Okay, so what was I saying? Yes, 
So acne, flare-ups, um, pimples, it's great to spot treat those with just a little dab of coconut oil or a dab of coconut oil mixed with a little bit of tea tree oil. It really helps to kind of zap those pimples. So I do recommend that. I know it's a little bit weird to like put oil on your skin, especially if you have oily skin because you don't want oil on your skin, but I promise you it's going to help. Um, I wouldn't recommend, you know, putting it on your face and then going out, you know, putting your makeup on on top of that and going out during the day because your makeup is going to slide right off. Um, what I suggest is actually putting it on at night or spot treating at night before you go to bed when your skin is repairing it itself. Um, it'll be really, really great for that. Okay, also for the face, um, I use coconut oil. This is like my favorite way to use coconut oil, but it's to use it as a makeup remover. It is by far the best makeup remover I've ever used, like in my entire life. I love using coconut oil to remove my eye makeup, all of my makeup really. It's like what I look forward to in the day is I take coconut oil, like I just kind of take my fingers and I just dip it in there, rub it on my hands, liquefy it, and then I just put it on my eyes and rub it on my eyes, rub it all over my face. Yes, your makeup will start to melt off and you will have like raccoon eyes and everything like that, but it's okay because you're going to wash your face anyway. So I just take it and I rub it all over my face, get all of the makeup off, and it does a fantastic job of removing all eye makeup, even waterproof makeup. Um, you're also conditioning your lashes and your eyebrows when you do it, which I love because you want to have healthy eyelashes. You know, you're putting on mascara every day, you're putting on false lashes. You know, you want to keep them as healthy as possible. And how often do we actually like think about conditioning our lashes? So this will do that. It'll condition your lashes, condition your eyebrows, keep your eyebrows really, really full, keep your lashes full, you know, help help prevent them from breaking, um, and it gets all the makeup off. So once all the makeup is sort of melted, I just kind of massage it into my skin. I take a washcloth and I just put it under hot water. And I'll do a separate video about the oil cleansing method, which is another video for another day, but I'll just give you a brief little tidbit about it. I put it under hot water and then I take it, I wring it out, and then I just kind of lay it on my face so that the steam from the washcloth will open up my pores, the coconut oil will go into my pores, kind of, you know, get those antibacterial, antimicrobial properties working and will cleanse, you know, my pores. And as my pores open up, it'll release all the grossness. The coconut oil will take it away. And then um, I just take the washcloth and I wipe everything off. And I do that a couple times. And then after that, um, you know, you can just use a regular face wash to get any residue of coconut oil off any residue of makeup off and it does wonders I promise you even if you take a toner or an astringent after you've done that and you wipe your face like it'll pretty much be all gone because the coconut oil has dissolved all of your makeup off um, and then you know you kind of hit it on the backside of that with your face wash and it removes all traces of makeup it is like the best makeup remover ever and it smells fantastic like it smells like coconut and I love it it just smells wonderful <clears throat> So that is how I use it for that. Um, also, of course, I use it for my hair. So I use it a couple different ways. The first way, I probably apply coconut oil to my hair like three or four times a week. As often as I wash my hair, I put coconut oil in my hair. So like last night, I can tell you, last night what I did is I washed my hair and then when my hair was still wet, um, you know, like I, I wrapped it up in a towel, but then when I took the towel down um, and my hair was still, you know, pretty wet, I took coconut oil, just probably like a quarter size amount for each half of my head, um, maybe even less than that. So I would say like between a nickel and a quarter size, um, I just rub it into my hands and then I just go like this. I just rub it all on the bottom half of my hair, concentrating on my ends. Coconut oil has protein in it and protein is what our hair is made out of. So um, it really helps to strengthen the hair it's like one of the only oils that will, you know, get into the hair shaft and kind of strengthen your hair from the inside out. So if you're thinking that you're going to put coconut oil on your hair and then it's going to be like super soft and super shiny and all that stuff, um, it's not going to do that the very first time. You're going to have to kind of do it on a consistent basis to sort of see the results because... Um, again, it works from the inside out. So the healthier your hair is on the inside, then the healthier it's going to be on the outside. And that is what you want. And it really helps prevent breakage. Um, it, it acts as a protectant against the elements. If you're going out in the heat or the wind or the cold, it's going to protect against that. Um, okay, so after I've applied it to my hair, I just kind of wrap it up in a bun and then I go to sleep. And then when I woke up this morning, um, I undid my hair and then I just curled it with a... Um, I just curled it with my uh, one inch flat iron. The curls have obviously fallen because it's been like this all day long, but 
you pretty much get the point. I know some people are thinking like, oh my gosh, you put oil in your hair, then you put heat on your hair. Well, for, well, no, because when I go to sleep, the oil is going to soak into my hair. So there is nothing in my hair right now. And my hair is not greasy, it is not oily, and it, you know, it has life, it has bounce, it has shine. This is what my hair looks like, like naturally with, there's no product in it other than the coconut oil that I put in last night. I didn't put any serum in it. I didn't put any leave-in conditioner in it. I didn't put any, you know, hairspray or any gel or anything like that. Nothing, nothing to add to the shine. This is what my hair looks like because of coconut oil. Like I've used coconut oil forever. And when I decided that I was going to grow my hair out and I was going to take better care of my hair, then coconut oil really became a staple in my hair care routine. So if you want to grow your hair out or just make your hair healthy, um, then I definitely suggest using coconut oil because it is phenomenal. Um, it's also great if you have like a dry scalp and I do have dry scalp on occasion, and so I just, you know, put it like on my fingertips and then sort of massage it in. Um, or I will actually do like a deep conditioning treatment or a deep or a hot oil treatment with the coconut oil, and I will take like a half a cup, put it in the microwave or heat it on a stove or whatever um, until it's hot, not boiling because then you're not going to be able to apply it to your hair, but until it's hot enough for to penetrate into the shaft but also not too hot that you can't actually touch it and then I will apply it either with um, a brush you know those brushes that you use to color your hair with I don't have one in front of me or um, I'll just take my fingers and apply it and I just do like little sections at a time and I'll apply it to my hair and I apply it from root to tip like the entire thing and then I will um, put um, like a plastic bag around my hair and then a towel around my hair so that you know all the heat can stay in my hair and then um, I'm saying um a lot I'm sorry <laughs> so I will wrap it up and then leave it on for anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour two hours however long I have I like to do it at night like if I'm just doing like a whole beauty night I'll put a mask on I'll put a movie on I'll have coconut oil in my hair you know it'll just be I'll look like a hot mess but you know it's really helping <laughs> and then when I go to shampoo my hair, I will shampoo it out. I apply it on to, um, you know, unwashed. When I do the hot oil treatment I'm talking about, I apply it to unwashed, just dirty hair. Um, and it works out fine like that. And it's really helped to, especially in the past like six months or so, it's helped to, you know, make my hair longer as well as make my hair stronger, um, healthier. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm noticing like very, very few split ends. I was looking for split ends the other day and was having a kind of difficult time finding them. So that's really good. I think a combination of the weekly hot oil treatments that I was doing as well as like the keratin treatments have really, really helped to strengthen my hair and help to grow my hair. I think it's even helped with the, the, the time that it's taken to grow my hair. I think my hair has grown faster because it's healthier and so there's less breakage and I do notice less breakage. I was having like tremendous breakage like probably like six months ago and it was so frustrating but I think I've kind of figured out why and um, I'm now on the opposite end of that and I don't have a ton of breakage anymore. So that's that. Okay, now you can also use it for cooking, obviously. Um, ingesting coconut oil is really, really fantastic for you, like the health benefits, and I'm not going to list those all here. You can actually just Google those. Um, there's a ton of blogs. There's a ton of research about it. So you can, like, t I sometimes take a teaspoon. I keep, um, not this one. This is this is the one that I keep, um, like, in my, um, you know, beauty area, but I also have, like, a separate coconut oil in my kitchen that I use for cooking and for ingesting. I like to just put maybe, like, a teaspoon into a smoothie because it's, the benefits are just really, really good for you. So the internal benefits, I mean, as well as the external. So um, I keep that there. I also put some in my dog's food because it helps with, because it's really good for dogs apparently. And, you know, you can look that up too. And um, so there's a couple different types that I have. I have, I always have like a backup because I love having backups. So this is the one that I get from um, Whole Foods. So whenever I go to Whole Foods, if I'm low on coconut oil or I don't have a backup, then I'll pick up one. And this is just the... The Whole Foods brand, I feel like it ranges somewhere between 6 and $9, I think, um, for this particular one. It's just a 365 Everyday Organic Unrefined Expeller Pressed Virgin Coconut Oil. And it has the USDA Organic Seal um, on it. So this is the one that I get from Whole Foods. Um, this is the one that I purchased from Vitacost, and it's the Vitacost brand, and it also is organic, and it has the USDA Organic. Um, certified organic. You want to look for that seal when you're um, purchasing your coconut oil 
and this I think it's cheaper to get it online so whenever I order like Castile soap or whatever I am ordering from Vitacost then I will um, purchase one of these I don't know how much this one retails for I will um, maybe put like a little annotation right here of how much this is for if you use my link my referral link then it'll give you ten dollars off of your first purchase and that will basically like get you a coconut oil for free um, and you'll just have to pay like a few bucks for shipping so use my referral link which I will put down below for vitacost.com because it will definitely it'll give you ten dollars like instantly like you sign up and then like three minutes later you'll get an email with your ten dollar coupon so and you there's no minimum purchase you can just buy ten dollars worth of products and that's fine like I sent it to my friend um, she bought ten dollars worth of products and just had to pay like a few dollars for shipping so definitely take advantage of that again I'll put that referral link code down below so that you can um, make sure that you go to vitacost.com and get that ten dollars off because it's really beneficial you can try so many great organic products like natural products and coconut oil is one of them so uh, pick this one up this is the 16 ounce one I don't know how much this is I want to say like seven bucks eight bucks I want to say it's something like that so um, I, that's what I want to say but I'm not exactly sure so pick this up from there um, that's pretty much all I have in terms of like using coconut oil for beauty in your beauty regimen of course there are probably like a thousand and one different ways that you can use coconut oil that I haven't even mentioned my suggestion is to just google it benefits of coconut oil ways to use coconut oil and you will find a ton I also use it a lot for and I, I didn't mention this but because maybe I'll do like separate DIY videos but I use it for when I'm doing DIY stuff like, like if I'm making like um, a special hair treatment I will probably add coconut oil into it if I'm using if I'm, I'm doing like um, a lip treatment I also combine it with like honey and make I'll probably do a video on that but uh, honey and some other ingredients and then I'll use it as like a lip treatment um, but I just kind of told you like the the ways that I use it on a more regular basis and that is um, as a moisturizer I use it every day as a moisturizer I use it um, pretty much every day as a makeup remover or well whenever I'm wearing makeup then I use it as a makeup remover because it's fantastic for that. I use also use it for um, my hair. And I guess I don't do that every single day, but I use it regularly. Like, again, every time I wash my hair. It's so beneficial for that. So I use it for that. And then um, just internally, like all the internal benefits of coconut oil are so fantastic. Like, I really highly, highly, highly suggest that you start incorporating coconut oil. Even if you're only doing it externally, like, it's fantastic for your hair, fantastic for your skin. So just do that. Um, and if you want to look at the benefits for... Um, you know the internal benefits of coconut oil then you can also look that up um, and that's all I have for you today I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye